Okay. going to run a little bit of a drill today, um, it's the guard pass drill, uh, involving guard recovery and a little bit of a workout as well. So today's one is kind of about, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a workout for both kids and dogs. Okay? You didn't turn it sideways, I have to finish it. Yeah, so we're just going to stop the live video and restart it again, so two seconds guys. So just two seconds to get it going. Just need to turn your camera off as well, guys. Get Emma to do that in a second. Cool. So you still there? Yeah. Come off. Awesome. Okay. So this is just a little bit of a drill. Um, it's a really good drill for a bit of uh, the body workout. I know that some of us haven't been um, as active as we possibly can be. So this is uh, just a little bit of a drill. It's a one by one drill, or um, it can be a solo drill by yourself. So just going to grab our arms or back, head face in the way, and on the side of the cut. So the way this works is we're going to get our hand grip. So we work on our hand grip. So my hand grip is into the collar and into the belt. What my partners now going to do is they're going to grab hold of the collar to try and bring me down. What I'm doing is I leave my post here. So I explain that this is to control the hips. This is to control um, my partner sitting up. So if I move this hand, she can bring me down nice and easy. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm using this hand. I grab the hand, so she's got hold of the collar. Grab the hand, put it forward, and I push it down. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep all my weight into a stomach and not to try and wind it back, but to try and put a bit of force onto it. It's really important now that my head doesn't come forward because I don't have a structure system. So my knees are wide and my head's back. So if I'm trying to bring forward my legs, I've got quite a good structure from here where if I'm here, it's going to break me down. So it's really important that once again, we're in the position from here, the hand that's on the belt and grips. I'm not pulling down because that's spring out, so I'm getting my posture. Sorry. Got the hand that's on the belt gets hold of it. So I come up, boom, from here. So if she tries to break me down, it's quite hard for her to break me down. What I'm doing is this is part of the walk, the warm-up from here is I go one, two, and up. When my partner opens her legs or when my partner keeps her legs closed, is irrelevant. We're now going to go one, two, reset. So I get my grips, she gets her grip, on two, not this leg, she can grab hold of my leg to sweep it, and you just go down the post. So on the same side as I'm holding your arm, I step one, two, one, two, come down. So we're going to do this five times and we're going to swap both. So ready guys? So I get my grips, she gets her grip, the hand on the belt, comes up, takes a grip, holds it down. One, Two, one, two, reset. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So she's a bit of weight on her stomach the whole time, so she's got to contract down to hold on. Last one. 
one, two from here. So my hips are driving four, I've got good control. Okay, last. Swap over, one, two, three. So inside the guard, from here, she's going to get a posture, I go hold. So she keeps her frame, so I can't pull it forward. That's holding my wrist. And what she's doing, she's pushing the wrist forward and down and doubles up. So on the same side, on this side, the select comes up first. One, two. And whether I keep my legs open or not is irrelevant to the stage. She now goes opposite way. One, two. Okay, that's one. We're going to wreck up five of these guys. Let's go. Don't press. So not my hand. Because we don't want to take the post hand if I remember fast. Okay, let's go. Mommy! Mommy! I mean, let's do the drill together. Mommy! Go on, okay. So don't take the post hand like fast. Remember? Because this is the thing that's supporting you. So if you move this hand here, you're going to get broken down. So this hand. One, two, more. Four. 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 So part two is we're going to use exactly the same warm up, get a little bit of a sweat on. And what we're doing is we're backing out of the gut. We're going to go with the guards closed or the guards open. So this will be the tech session. And then what we'll do, we'll drill it out five times. Inside the close guard, on the scan glass. So we never get a grip. All right, it's this hand. Does everyone understand? So it's this hand here. Break the grip, pin it down. One, two. What I'm doing for me is I start to move backwards to open up the guard. So I have a little bit of a shuffle. If Emma keeps the guard closed on me, from here, when I start, my elbows come in, I start to push backwards to open up the guard. So we're just trying to get past the knees. So if Emma's knees are here, we're trying to get past the knees. I'm not trying to stay in here because this is too easy for my partner to sweep me and grab me, etc., etc. So whenever I stand up inside the guard, so we'll start again, just so everyone understands. So she gets a grips from here. Okay, so one, two, I've got control on this side. So one, two, up. What I'm doing is I'm just backing out a little bit. I'm trying to open up the legs. So I'm past the knees. So the knees are in front of me. Okay, we're going to do this five times now, guys. Okay. So same system. Get my grip. It doesn't kind of matter what hand Emma uh, grabs with. I've just got, no, it doesn't make it matter. So as long as we're actually dealing with the, my post stays here, my grip. One, two. One, two. Back up, one, come back in, reset, from here, one, two, one, two, move back, reset, inside the guard again, so my posture, one, two, one, two, one, two, so I'm moving back, so she can't elevate me, can't front sweep me, three, inside the guard again, so from here, get the grip, from here, break the grip, down, one, two, elbows in, one, two. So I'm past the knees, so she turns to the side, and definitely past the knees. And again, inside, there's a grip. One, two, one, two, back out. Make sure that I'm coming on the inside, so her knees, this side, then. last one. So from here, get our grips, break the grips, down, step, step, push backwards, back out, so her knees are in front. Okay, guys, swap over, one, two, three. So we have the same system, guys, inside the closed guard, 
and the hazard, right? From here. Okay. So as I get my grips, she gets her grip, breaks it down, pushes it down, doubles up. Comes up, one, two. She's going to start shot, but make sure her elbows come on the in. Yeah, on the inside. So this way, she's got to be able to control my legs. One, and it's five times. And then, grips. Beautiful. Control, grip up, boom, push it down, control. Come up, one, two, elbows on the inside, pulls backwards, two, and again. Grips up. Controls, back to grip down, hands up, one, two, elbows on the inside, walk backwards. Just so that you can pass my leg. You can go to the quick feet as well, right then, control, three. And grip up. And side backwards, four, excellent. Last one, guys, so we're going to go grip, break some collar, holds it down, pins it into my stomach. Comes up in the same side, one, two, comes up, back up, fantastic. Okay, guys, swap over top to bottom. I want to stay here, so I'm going to teach you guys the next drill. So we're going to do the tech two times, just so you understand what's happening. Okay, so ever since I'm on close guard, we're exactly the same system, we're not changing. So if you guys swapped over, I've got a hold of the collar, she kills my grip, pushes it in, exactly the same drill, doubles up, comes up to the feet, one, two, Backs out. Okay. I know that's going to be my hand. Feet down. I'm through. And look for my takedown. What will happen now is I'll stand up inside in this car or sit down inside in this car and she gets to do the drill for me. Just watch the footwork on this one, please, guys. So we have exactly the same thing. So she gets a grip, breaks it, comes up. So one step. Two step comes out, and for the purpose of this drill, we're going to go nice and wide. What I'm doing is uh, she's pushing up, okay, so she's pushing this down. So I can't turn this way because most of the weight's on the side here. So I need to escape here. So I come up. All I'm doing is looking for the legs. She tap the legs down. I come up inside my partner's guard. She shuffles back. Give this down the camera. I now get my grips. She get her grips. I break the grip, one, two, come up, so I'm going to come up, one, and two. As I come out, this side here turns, so she's going to fake the side here, come up, so she can come up, grabs the legs, boom, take down, I go back into my guard, so she pops up, I go inside my guard, close the guard up, from here, I get my grip, she breaks her grip, etc. Okay, guys. So go and do this, I've got to do this 10 times because it's five times eight. And because it's a flow drill, we're going to get to air out, everyone's going to get to it. So it's not one person does it, we're going to flow together. If you're having trouble, um, if you're having trouble getting up, my, my suggestion is that you turn to your knees and then shift the single or the double from your knees. I do it on this one here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So we're going to do this five times each, which is 10 times in total. So we're going one for one class. And one for one, one for one. I get my grip and it breaks my grip. Controls, comes up, nice and easy. Backs out, okay. So, what I'm talking about is if I'm having trouble, I go turn to my knees. Shoot the double, shoot the single, form shaker, take it down, pull in inside the guard. I get my grips, she gets her grips. I break the grip from here, I come up, one, two, back out. So if she wants to, she can either drop, take the half guard, shoot onto her knees, whatever works best for her. Boom, comes around, grabs her arm, boom, shoots it, boom, take down, awesome, comes back into the car. So you guys don't have to keep shuffling, we're just trying to keep it in the camera. So you guys want to do a space, you can play around in this one. And it gets her grips. I get my grip, she breaks the grip. Comes down, pops up, backs out. So if I want you up to use my feet, keep a little bit of space, come down, turn, grab the single, shoot the single, come in, so I close guard. I get my grip, she gets her grip. Remember, guys, keep the brain, keep the structure, boom, pin it down, one, two. 
back down a little bit. So of course I'm not holding it this time, but the legs, it's really easy for her to start to turn all the way over. But and shoot perfectly nice shot from some stuff like that. And there she gets her grips, okay, breaks my grip, pins, comes up. Awesome. Backs out. My job, I'm going to catch legs so she can't move too far. Turn to the pin side. Come pin so I'm kind of like going like a um, hurdle uh, stretch. All I'll do is I'm locking the leg into position, drive, cut the legs so she can't go to a triangle choke on me. Because right, otherwise, I'm here, she can shoot the triangle really easy on me. Oh, yeah. So to stop that, I control this leg. She shoots the triangle. Very hard. Thank you. Inside the close guard, two points for the sweep. Okay, she gets her grips. I get my grip, form shanker, come up, the walls, sorry, from <laughs> here. And from here, so this time is I've got all of the legs, so she comes here. Head on the inside of that drive first. Nice. Drive down to stop the triangle. Yeah, nice. Allows her to come inside my guard. Awesome. Okay, guys. So that's the first drill. So we're starting off with a closed guard. We then go through to um, the stand up, the guard pass. From the guard pass, we're looking at uh, getting the separation to pass the guard. We then get to our knees. I'm here to shoot the single, take our partner down so we get the two points. We end up inside the guard and they get to drill over here. So that's drill number one. We're now going to go drill number two. This is a little bit of a leg workout for me. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a, um, like we're going to elevate our partner. And we're going to work a little bit of balance work. So Emma's going to get to work with balance work. I'm going to get to do a tiny little bit of a leg workout as well. So the way this works is we're inside the full guard and the closed guard again. And I'm going to go to sweep to the left, sweep to the right. I get my giddy up grip. So I can horse it, giddy up, giddy up. So one, two, three. My partner will now stand up. What I'm doing is I'm going to pull everything over me. So I'm going to pull everything over me from here with my legs. Okay. Put my partner down. One, two, three. Four. And the last one is I'm going to put a four sort of quick land grab zone for my hands. I'll explain. So come here, I'll take the dancing technique. Well, and I'll put it down here. I now go grab and I now back sweep from here. Hit the skate from inside my partner's car. She gets a giddy up grip. Sweep one. Sweep no matter, so sweep, so turn to the side. One, two, from here, I stand up. Now, what she's doing is she's slowly putting the hands over. And if you guys don't have good balance, you can try to put your hands onto the ground. Or if you're with your um, parents, so if parents, if you're with the kid, what I'd suggest is you go here, one. So Emma's actually doing the work, two, three. Four, perfect, much better. And five, and up. So this time I'll put my feet in. Boom, but if you don't hit the skate, you can't go. So you've got to hit the skate. Boom, boom, boom. Comes inside my guard. Close my guard up. Yeah. So we're now going to go. The drill is we're going to go up, stand, hit once, back sweep, squat. Okay. So you ready guys? This is that one one drill? So I do it, Emma does it, I do it. So we're not going five times each. This is a partner and sister drill, so I do it, Emma does it, I do it, Emma does it. So ready, go with Emma does it. the other grip, nice and control. Hit the scale one, the scale two, there you go. Pull forwards and it comes to a feet. What I'm doing is, and she, so Emma can put her hands onto the ground if she wants to. And this just makes it easier for her to balance. I lift up one, I'll put it down. Doesn't work. I lift up two. But this time I'm going to put a feet next to me. So as the feet come down, I'll grab it. What I'm trying to do to get the distance is 
I'll do two rounds with a bit of my plate, and then I'll just reach up, and I'll kind of put it back there. Switch, come over, get the other grip. Boom, so basic sweep one, basic sweep two, one, two, get to control, spin on the hip, so I come up to deal with that, she hits me up, so one, perfect. Comes back down this time, she's going to lift me up, but she's going to try and go my feet. So as she pulls me in, 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 stop. My feet come down, stop. Stop. So from here, right, I'll do it. So Emma's in my car. So go again. So you guys swap over. Okay, so get the up three. One, two, from here, my partner stands up. So one, with one, put my partner down, with two, put my partner down. Now, like I said to you guys, if you don't keep from here, push some time, get up. I'll lift my partner and I'll push your backwards so I've got the room to get up. If you, if you do it the other way, it's, it's really hard to get up to your feet and get up to the car. Because you're basically ending up here. And we can't get up. So it's much better to end up at a distance. So we can now turn and get up. So Emma she comes back in. Get the up grip. One. Two. I come up to my feet. She goes front sweep one. So we'll start one. Comes back down. Number two, she's going to go my ankles. So it's about four. Moves up, goes my ankles. So from here, she lifts me up a little bit. And now, five. So that is the room to get up. If you don't do that, it's really hard for you to get up to your feet and get to the guard position. So we really need that little bit of that third little bit of kick off the hips. I go back to my car. So grips. One, two, knee up, get up. She stands up. Excellent. So I'm going to go two. This is number one. Lift up. Number two, hip drop, double take. Now, from here, is we'll just lift a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm just elevating myself. So I've still got to control the feet. And, have, and all I'm doing is I'm just pushing you backwards a little bit. She can hold on to my hip, she doesn't fall too hard. Drop my hip escape, and come up. So it's just a nice, it's not too hard to land for my partner either. You can kick it really hard in the tournament, but just for the purpose of this drill, it's nice and easy. Yeah, you know, so you don't want to be landing on the opposite eyes or your bottom. It really hurts up, guys. So just going to do one more. I'm just going to do it one more time. So, get the up grip. Sweep one. Sweep two. So, I'm using the gate. So, what I'm doing is I'm using the gate to stand up. So, because my hands are on the gate, keep me now. Push your legs up. One. This time, back my legs. Two. Grab. Now, she elevates me again. And now, kicks back with four. Hip escapes. Comes up inside my guard and took out half position. So that's drill number two, guys. It's a really nice, easy drill just to keep everything active. So you've got a little bit of a leg workout. You're coming up and down as well. I've got a little bit of sweat on. It's, it's a nice, easy drill. The third drill, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, kick our partner. Right? We're kicking our partner to create space and we're looking at either a double leg or a single leg. This is done from the closed guard. We're going to use the same system as we've just done, but my partner doesn't stand up. So my partner's going to stay onto their knees, which makes it a little bit harder for me to get the front sweep or the elevation sweep because it's hard for me to get underneath me. So this one here, we're just going to kick away. Um, the way that um, the way that the boy the way that I um I describe this is my partner's weight's locked onto the ground, so they're the anchor. It's extremely hard for me to make my partner or make my partner move. Um, the, the reason being is that their weights onto their knees and onto the ground, so it's harder for me to move them. I'll explain. So, advice to six. So, you're going to go giddy up, quick, basic sweep one, basic sweep two. So, you have the foot and bicep and uh, the inside of the guard. So, from here, I go. Get the up kick from here. So, basic sweep one, put onto the hip. Basic sweep two, put on the hip. So, Emma's weight on me. So, if I try and kick her backwards, it's not going to work. 
So I'll make sure that my head comes up. What I'm going to do is I'm on the side back into the spider can. So Emma's kind of got locked into position. Right? So her weight's on her knees, she's not standing up. Is as I kick away, I pull my feet and come under. I'm just looking at that my up again. So she'll go to her back, the down. Yeah. Gets a video grip. So she goes basic sweep one, basic sweep two for me, and I hunk her down. So if she tries to kick me away, it doesn't work. So she lifts her head up, small surface to weight pressure. It actually helps put an impact on your gear because you get the spine up a little bit. Boom, now let's go. Comes up to her knees, comes underneath, shoots a double or the single. Boom, I'll play to my guard, pass the knees there from here. Get my giddy up grips again, guys. So one, two. One, two. From here. Um, just what watch how I'm watch how I'm using this. So I'm coming up. As I'm sliding, I'm coming up as I slide. So I'll I'll show you what I want to do, then I'll show you what I don't. So as I'm sliding, I'm coming up. So I'm clearing her hands off my legs. So it's harder for her to grab. People sometimes call the Yeah, so this is like if you hold onto myself got my feet up even if she's got hold of my belt but I'll try to I'm gonna go side I don't do this with the gusto but I'll just go side over her Emma's hands. So for me it's, it's I'll bring my head up and here. So it's really hard to keep hold. And I just put it to the side and allows me to come up. So I can go to the to the back as well if I want to. But I'm transferring both the hands to one side. So Emma's two? Yes buddy. Oh my gosh. So get your kitty up there. And you go basic sweep one, basic sweep two. Now, I'll, I'll show you what I mean by what we don't do. Is that Emma kicks her head onto the ground and slides away. <laughs> and we can like, it's really hard to, where if you slide and sit your head up, pop, and now I just transfer my hands to one side. Well, so sit now, you just go to the side. Now, pin my arms off. Now, I'm trying to keep my arms across the ground, front to the back. And if you guys want to continue with the drill that we've been doing, from here, you go sit up it. And then we roll. You go heel and hook. So you go hook to the ground. No, no, on the inside. Hook to the ground from here. Hand goes around to the other side. So you've got the lapel, as I try and get out of back control. Um, this is a rather stood the arm up, this guys. Okay. So we go back to the basic guard, the guard drill. Just so you know, if you guys want to add on, if you're doing stuff at home and you want to add on positions and things like that, you can. Um, what I'll do now is just very quickly, I'll go through the um, through the submission drill for the advanced kicks that want to have a shot at actually practicing the arm bars and the submissions. So I'll get them at the side. I'm going to go really slow. I'm inside my full guard, my closed guard. Get the up grip. So from here, one, foot onto the hip, windscreen wiper, kick, windscreen wiper, kick. I'm just saying things, so I'm going to sit up. So as I'm sitting up, I'll kick and I'll slide. My foot comes over, triangle, come back inside the guard. So I'm going to go from here, once again, I go. Basic sweep one, basic sweep two, my head comes up. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to slide my butt backwards and using my core to come up at the same time. So as I put backwards, I lift the arms. So like the puppeteer, I'll bring one leg over and I'll pull forwards, keep the foot on hip, that allows me to turn to finish the triangle trade. One more time. So, okay, okay. so from here, gear the up grip. Basic sweep one, basic sweep two. Make sure that we're sitting up. So I sit up and I kick. So from here, I bring my leg over and I'm pulling forward. Yeah, because when I kick my foot onto the hip, once more I'm here, I can now use that to cut the angle and go to the triangle. Or alternatively, I can use this to sweep by coming up straight to sweep the arm bars. So there's a whole variety there, it's going to get Emma to do it. I'm going to go side on to the side of you. So the, the, the kind of the important thing is that 
When you're kicking away, you're sitting up. So basic sweep one, basic sweep two from here. So what she's going to do, she's going to start to sit up and she's going to kick. Boom. So from here, it's half a meter out. She puts one foot up. She might put that one over, that one over my shoulder. And now, falls in. Boom. Uses that foot on the hip to kick to cut the angle. Boom. Go to tip the top. Finish just a triangle. And again. So from here, full guard. Okay, so get the up group. Basic sweep one, basic sweep two. Okay, sit up, kick away, boom. I'm trying to control it, huh? So turn to the side, that comes over. Straight through, foot comes on the hip. Cuts the angle, so turns the body. And finishes the front. Awesome. Okay, advanced one for some of you guys that I know are itching to do this. We're going to have a look at the omoplata from here very quickly because we're running out of time. So swap positions. I'm going to shortcut the system, guys. So we're going to be in this position here. So I'm going to come up. We're here. What I'm going to do is I'm full forward. My leg comes up and this one comes over in front of the post. So just go straight to the omoplata. Really easy to do. We'll go to the position again. So we've got the feet on the hips. Is what I'm doing is I'm pulling my partner forward, I kick the hip. I'm pulling the arm over from here, and all I'm doing is I'm turning. So I'm kicking off this leg, turn, turn, turn my head, foot comes over, pull my leg out, I'm a planter. I'm not going to show the pinch because I'm running out of time. And again, so we're in the position, so I'm sitting up my giddy up grip, I pull forward, I pull the hand over my hip. I kick. So as I kick this leg does, and I have to pull the arm into me. So I need the elbow onto my hip, and the down push the weights onto my leg. So I put my foot over, I slowly draw my foot in, kick my other one out, I'm a plata, turn, and I'm a plata, arm bar. Shouldn't have a shot back. Yep. Okay. So the armbar, so we have the giddy up grip, once again, just go the same as you see. So she has a sit up, foot on your biceps. I mean, so what she's going to do is she's going to pull this to here. And she's going to bring her foot up like she's doing an arm bar. Yeah, perfect. Foot coming over from here. Nice. On the plate. And again. So on the plate is a really easy thing to do from here once you know how to set up. So you've got to keep my hands floating. And what I'm doing is, like, I'm going to try and close. So as I try and close, she traps out onto the hip, brings the leg nice and high, 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 high. And then this the other foot, the third, good boy, and I'm a part of it. So what Emma's going to do now is this hand here, it's going to go under my shin, yeah. under my shin, yeah. pull it over your head, roll belly down, sit up, grab my wrist. Pull the arm forward to the outside like, box. That one. And arm up. So there's quite a few little uh, things in there for you guys to have a look at as far as the um the guard goes, guard passing. So I did a couple of jewels in there and just finished off with a couple of the little um variations for you guys to go to the triangle and the on the Um I'll be posting up the uh, resistance bands workouts uh, hopefully later um on Monday. And I'll post three, three workouts, three or four workouts in there as well, just so you guys get a whole range. Uh, like I said to you guys, it, it's probably like uh, two times a week, three times a week, uh, on top of your normal training. So if you're doing the online videos three times a week, plus you're doing the resistance band three times a week, it's a pretty good workout routine. Um, and keeping your normal exercise and sunlight and good diet as well. Yeah. Hello, guys. Okay, guys. We wish you all a great Easter with your family. Be really safe, guys. Be smart about where you go and how you do it. Um, we want to see you guys back in the gym as fast as we possibly can. And the only way this works is we all do it together, guys. So, Nick, you say happy Easter. Happy Easter. So, happy Easter, everyone, guys. That's from all of us here as well, guys. Thank you. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, he's the only come to your house.
Happy Easter. Bye-bye, guys. Happy Easter. Bye-bye. <laughs>